dear muckers. Yon jock certainly has mellowed out others these last few years, but her mind the day a certain railway man let the gallus fail in him. Doogie. Cheese! called the photographer. Why? asked Jock innocently. Before he could get an answer, he was dazzled by the flash of a camera and clenched his eyes in surprise. The small, fat, thin, and tall controllers went to inspect the photographer's work. You blinked again, Jock, the small controller huffed. We'll have to do another one. There was a collective sigh as the men crowded around the little engine once again to take another photo. The photographer got the shot at last, and they all dispersed to speak with guests and enthusiasts, leaving Chalk all on his own. He'd only been built and named recently, and while he was grateful for so many people coming to see him, he did feel rather uncomfortable. My, what a splendid coat of paint! It's not often you get to see engines painted in such a bright color. Jock was broken from his daze and looked over to see an older gentleman with a top hat and cane smiling at him. Oh, thank you. It was only ever meant to be temporary, but Douglas from the big railway said it reminded him of engines from his old home. I see. <laughs> I understand the name now, and it certainly suits you. Jock smiled and looked at his buffers shyly. So tell me, why does an engine with a smart coat and a clever name look so glum? Jock looked up at the man. It sounds silly, but I'm still not used to people and their ways. Just earlier, that photographer told me to say keys, but wouldn't tell me why. I quite understand. He just wanted to ensure he was getting your smile in the photograph by saying the word cheese. You'll get used to it in time. Chalk wasn't so sure. He never thought people and their words could be so complicated. Ah, I think I know what would cheer you up. Leave it with me, went to the man, and he strolled quickly away. Chalk was puzzled, but said no more. A few minutes later, his driver came over excitedly. Come along, lad. A special train has been ordered, and where to pull it? Jock was surprised, but thrilled. His driver stoked his fire, which flared in excitement, and he soon made his way over to the station, where he found his coaches waiting. The train was full of enthusiasts, important guests, the railway controllers, and the kind gentleman from earlier. Mike, Rex, and Bert were gobsmacked by the variety of passengers. ch ch, -ch jock do you know who organized that special? A very kind man. But, 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 it, it's, it, it's. But before any of them could get a word in, Chuck chucked loudly away as people cheered and cameras clicked on the platform. It was only at the end of the day when Chuck learned who the kind man was. None other than Charles Topham Hatt, former controller of the Northwestern and one of the founders of the Arlesdale Railway. Needless to say, the occasion quickly went to Jock's smoke box, and he quickly became rather overconfident. But that's another story.